Amanda McDonald. Juicy Scoop. Hello and welcome to Juicy Scoop. Well, you guys, I have some personal Juicy Scoop of my own to share that touches in the Bravo world, so I thought you would enjoy it. Um, as you guys know, many of you know, I'm very good friends with Jeff Lewis, star flipping out. He has a very successful radio show on Radio Andy. And I have had the honor of being a regular guest of his for the last couple years. And we're very good friends. So he asked me to do this um, Zoom like live radio streaming show. And it was called Jeff Lewis, A Drinker Five. He said, come to my house at four. Drake drove me, come to my house at four, and um, we're going to start at five so you can have a couple drinks. Scott's there, his boyfriend, who is just a gorgeous, tall delight, but it's like a calming hotness. You know when someone's too hot, it's almost like makes you nervous? It's like a calming hotness. And so he's making me a um, really good tequila drink with like some sparkling water and fresh lemon and lime carcass out mind you so it was just a del in a beautiful glass okay so now here's the thing you guys i never drink before i do my podcast never drink before i've ever done television never drink during stand up ever but this isn't my show and the show is called a, F a drinker 5 so i was pretty happy to go hey like i'm not carrying this show i just can have some fun megan his main co-star is there and a couple other people are on the Zoom. So we're doing our own thing at his house, far away from each other. But then we're, like, corresponding with the people in New York. So we do it for an hour. Um, I had a really good time. I didn't have five drinks, like the thing said. I had about three and a half. And uh, left and, and really thought it was fun. Really thought we were getting great response. <laughs> well, um, I find out yesterday that uh, Andy Cohen had John Hill on. Now, John Hill, I was not aware um, of him because I, I don't listen to his show, but he has his own show on Sirius, and he's been on Jeff's show a lot. And I saw him, very good-looking guy, saw him on the Zoom and was talking to him and asking him some questions in between the breaks and on the show. And uh, anyway, uh, the consensus between he and Andy is that I took over and talked too much. And he didn't say my name at first, John Hill. He goes, you know, some people just really took over. And Andy Cohen said, and that is directed to you, Heather McDonald. And all I can say is that, thank you, Andy Cohen, for mentioning my name. Because for the last five years, even prior to that, I was on Chelsea Lately, but I've had my show Juicy Scoop for the last five years. And from my first guest to the guest I just had on Tuesday, I have promoted the shows on Bravo, the Bravo network itself. All of the stars have come back and numerous times. Um, I've, I've loved it. I think I do a creative way of promoting the shows, recapping the shows, my impressions, my Barbies. And I have not been ever asked me on Andy Cohen's radio show or watch what happens live. I was on it once about seven years ago with Tamara. So people constantly go, why aren't you on watch what happens live? The bitch sesh girls are on. Danny Pellegrino are on. Like, why? I don't know. This past, pre, right pre-COVID, when my Barbies were really popular and taken off, I called my agent, William Morris, and I said, you know what? I guess I'm not at a level where they want me as a guest. But gosh, these Barbies are so beloved. I would love for more people to know that I recap the Barbies. All the Every housewife loves the Barbies. And um, so I said, why don't you offer to be have, I'll be a bartender. I'll be a bartender. I'll bring all the Barbies. I'll bring all the stands. And in fact, I'm happy to fly myself out, okay? Me, who's been on several television shows, uh, you know, not to brag, but I'm going to, two stand-up specials, a headlining comedian, one of the top podcasts. I didn't care. I just, here are my books, my books, two best-selling books. I just was like, let me get back in there, and I don't care if I'm the bartender and wave. It's still great promotion for the Barbies, and it'll bring so much more joy for the people that watch Bravo and have no clue who I am. So they passed, okay? Anyway, continue on. Uh, BravoCon comes. Was I asked to go or moderate? No. 
But you know what? I was a little butthurt, and I told you guys this, and Jill Zarin goes, who cares? Who's they? They are the people that love you that are going to be at this BravoCon, that listen to your podcast. Come, and because of Jill, I stayed with Jill, and she had a big booth for three days selling her rugs. So she, I got a pass as a vendor helper, and I got to go. And I will say every single person working there with Bravo knew who I was and were complete and total delights. And it was a fabulous event. Again, I came back and said, everybody, go to BravoCon when it comes back again. It was such a good time. Everybody do it. Again, promoting, promoting. So um, that being said, uh, I really don't care. It's really okay. Yeah, no, I do care. I was a little butthurt when I heard the comments. And I also saw that people thought I talked too much. And then it goes back to, oh, guess who's talking too much? The woman. Oh, she's too loud. She's too obnoxious. She took over. Well, um, again, I apologize. I was a little drunk. If I talked over John or anybody else, I'm sorry. I'm a professional comedian. That Anyone that's come to my shows, I do an hour and 15 minutes of nonstop joke, laughter, laughter, laughter. So when I'm doing a show and there's a lull in it, whether I'm doing it by myself or with six other people, I keep it going. That being said, um, if I stepped on anyone's toes, I'm sorry. For people that didn't enjoy the Zoom experience that you watched at your home for free, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I love Jeff Lewis. I'm on his show today as you're listening to this Thursday. I'm doing the show. And um, I hope to continue to do his show. But at this point, no, I probably will never do another group Zoom again. And I love Andy Cohen. I love the entertainment he brings. I'll never stop enjoying it. Other people that feel butthurt by Bravo, stop talking about Bravo, stop covering their shows. Not me, because I think the network's great. I think the people are talented. I, you know how much I love the Housewives. I've got Captain Sandy coming on. Like I love so many of the shows. I do these things because you guys tell me how it like brightens your life. So I'm not going to ever let my ego come into play because I'm never going to be on Watch What Happens Live or Andy Cohen's show. What's he going to do that I'm talking about him now? Invite me on less? It's cool. I'm fine. Thanks to the Juicy Scoopers and Patreon, I'm doing just fine. But I will say one more thing. I have a great attitude about this basically bullshit, promoting a network for five years and still not even like a thank you. Well, the, I, I take that back. The thank yous are comes from the, the guests I have, and, and several of the PR people are, are quite nice. Okay, but I'm saying, you know, no, nowhere it's like, let me pat you on the back. Thank you. Why don't you come on the show? I'm okay with that because this has been a pattern of my career, my entire 25 plus years of doing this. I have never had anything handed to me. I've always been the woman trying to be heard. So for them to say, I was heard too much. I'm used to it, guys. I get it. So enjoy, and I'm glad there's enough channels and enough podcasts and series for everybody to enjoy. And I will continue to enjoy Bravo and Watch What Happens Live and the entertainment that Andy Cohen brings to my life, the most being his adorable son, obviously, but Andy too. So now let's get into... Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, the drama continues. Now, there has been a lot of talk. Did this scene that happened between Brandy, who was brought into the room by Kim, and then she reveals to Kyle and Teddy that nine months prior, she had a rendezvous, a romantic rendezvous, in a bed, in a loft, um, in Northern California when Denise was filming a movie. Now, a lot of people started to speculate, wait a minute, and they started to go back into people's Instagrams and whatnot. The party, the black and white party, was mid-November. They also went to Rome in November before Thanksgiving. When, there's a couple clues, and I'm not saying I'm correct about it. But here are some strong evidence that possibly this conversation happened after Rome. That is what people are speculating for several reasons. There, one of the reasons is when you when they walked into um, when Teddy walked into her house to pack, there was a Christmas tree, 
And that would have been before, like a week before Thanksgiving. Now, some people do that. It's a little odd. Secondly, um, there's a photo of Brandy Glanville with my book agent, Michael Bursard, who's also her book agent, at her birthday where she has the high ponytail, the look that she's wearing um, with Kim on the going out to um, going out to for her birthday. And that was, hold on. What does it say? It was November 20, I can't see it, November 29th or something. And if everything goes in line, the actual birthday dinner with Kim where they stopped at Kyle's would have been like November 19th or something like that before the week in Rome. So I don't know. I could see this happening because they need that clarification for the story. Because I think what may have happened, and this is me putting many clues together and speculation, I think Brandy told Kim, Kim told Kyle, Kyle told Teddy, it came out on the Rome trip to all the girls, they confronted Denise on the Rome trip, and then they had to add make the story seem right, and why not also feature Brandy and give her some screen time because God knows the girl deserves it after what she's brought to the table. Okay. Uh, but as far as again, did it happen? Did it not? Then she shows text messages, as I said before on Tuesday's show, saying that they had the plan to meet. I think they absolutely met. I think she absolutely spent the night at her place. But what happened between the two of them? Only the two of them will know. If something did happen, I don't think Brandy's fingers are worth this fucking heartache, that's for sure. But, you know, it is what it is now, and it's out there. Um, if the show comes back, bring on Brandy back. I don't know. I don't know what the reunion will look like. But, um, you know, and then Denise, whatever happened, whether it happened or not, Denise said it didn't. That's a story that she, that is what the statement she said the moment she was confronted, and that is what she's continued to stick with. And you know what? Bel truth or not, I say smart choice. Because guess what? That's exactly what Bill Clinton said. He said, I did not have sex with that woman. And he said it and he said it and said it until they brought out a blue dress with his cum on it and his DNA. Well, she didn't get Denise pregnant. There is no... Uh, physical evidence like that. There is no video. There is no even text saying, thanks for banging me last night, uh, but don't tell anyone. There's nothing like that. So I think Denise wins in this one, but I also um, really enjoyed the entertainment from Brandy. I don't know what to say. It's just kind of shitty. But that's what you do when you go on a reality show. You sign your way, yourself away. Now, other times people have said in shows like Say Yes to the Dress, they have them say things, they redo things. Well, of course, any show that's like a one-off, like a, a real estate show, not, not million dollar listing, but more like, okay, this couple needs to know which beach house they're going to get. That's all after the fact. After they've already found the house, it's in escrow, it's already closed. Usually it's already closed. Then they go, okay, we're going to show you the house you really bought second. You're going to ponder it. You're going to then, you know, those things are very fake, okay? Same with the say yes to the dress. If um, Kelly gets engaged and we go to do say yes for the dress and the first dress she picks, picks is the one she likes, which is a very common thing with a lot of people. We still, they're going to still place it in a way that she tried three others on, one that we kind of liked, one that her mom hated, one that her sister loved, and then I'm going to probably be like Kristen Chenoweth, because I saw an episode of that, and put one on for fun. And, you know, the episode will be a much more entertaining episode than if Kelly picked the first dress and tried it on. Now, she's not engaged, so don't get excited, but putting it out there in the universe. So, um, just so that I can be on Say Yes for the Dress. But so there, there. That's the way I feel about the reality show. But there, again, there's no way we're going to know if that's true or not. She could say, "Yeah, I put a tree up the day after Halloween." Brandy could say, "Yeah, I always wear a high pony. It's the easiest thing to do." So, um, if you have more evidence than that, feel free, Juicy Scoop detector detectives. Let me know, um, and we can do this. In the meantime. 
uh, very, I love both the seasons of New York and Beverly Hills during this time, and I'm sad to see it coming to an end. So you guys, my stand-up special is being released August 7th. It will live on Amazon Prime, where you can rent it or buy it, or you can go and be part of my Patreon if you have not already. And when you join, it'll be there August 7th on. It'll live there. You can watch it at your leisure, watch it in bits, whatever you want. And you go to patreon.com slash juicy scoop, or you go to heathermcdonald.net. All the information is there. So I was really excited to go over to Dear Media to interview Lauren Everett's from the Skinny Confidential and his and her, the his and her podcast. She started a whole company, a big company with her husband. They just had a little baby, but she's also always on the cutting edge of fashion, beauty, plastic surgery, now motherhood, but also a lot of celeb gossip too. So we had a great interview and here we go. 